Hi, uh, we are back at Super Size Recording Studios where we recorded the first kits uh, on my sound library for the two box Drumit 5 module more than two years ago. A lot of things happened during this time. As some of you already might know, two box decided to cease production of drum kits and will focus on the sound modules only. But this news, the introduction of the new Drumit 3 module, the possible phase out of the Drumit 5 and the launch of a new Drumit 5 or whatever they call it have no effect on our work. Uh, the voice architecture will remain the same, the future models will be compatible with the old sounds and uh, uh, Tubox uh, would still be one of the most natural sounding uh, e-drum modules out there. So all these developments had absolutely nothing to do with why we didn't release any new kits for such a long time. Uh, the main reason for that uh, was that the kit creation process is very time consuming, especially when you apply heavy dynamic processing to the sounds. And without the right software tools, uh, it can almost literally take forever to get things right. Uh, until recently, I didn't have these tools, uh, but some Toolbox enthusiasts volunteered to help me. And we developed some custom software applications, which vastly speeded up the sound creation process. Uh, so now that I have the right tools, I decided to continue the sound development, uh, especially because the first instruments were received really well. Many of you downloaded them and the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. Today, we're going to record a Thomas Star Classic Performer Boominga Birch kit. We have a 22 inch bass drum. The tom sizes are 10, 12, 14 and 16 inch. And the snare drum is a 13 by seven inch SLPG maple. Donny likes to tune the toms as wide apart as I do. Uh, the only big difference between uh, the Radio Pro kit and this one is that uh, this one doesn't have an 8 inch tom. So this 10 inch tom uh, is uh, cranked up pretty high. Uh, and the biggest one, the 16 inch one, is a pretty low tuning. So we decided to add an extra item to today's session. Donny used an extra floor tom, which was a 16 inch superstar. It's tuned even lower than the 16 inch star classic tom. And uh, I think sound wise, it blends in pretty well with the rest of the kit. So it could be used as the largest tom for this kit.
So now <clears throat> that the sample kits are ready, we can compare one of them to the original acoustic version. <clears throat> but before playing the video, I must point out a few things uh, so that you'd clearly understand what you'll hear. On both recordings, you'll hear the exact same drum kit. The samples for the electronic version were taken at the same time uh, when the acoustic version of the tune was recorded, and we used the same mics. But there are a few important differences as well. First of all, for the sample session, I slightly modified the tuning of the 12 and 14 inch tops. Uh, secondly, the electronic version was recorded in a different location using different overhead mics. And thirdly, the two versions were mixed at uh, two different studios. Uh, but again, uh, as I explained this uh, in our previous comparison video, uh, the goal was not to make the two kits sound identical, uh, but to demonstrate that both versions work fine in that musical context. Uh, so have fun listening and download the kits if you like what you hear. See you next time.